Let's get started with our first type of inductive inference, namely inductive generalization, also known as enumerative induction. In an inductive generalization, not surprisingly, we conclude with a generality. Consider this statement, owls prey on mice. We understand that there is a tacit quantifier in this statement, namely all. It's saying that all owls prey on mice. In an inductive generalization, a statement such as this would function as the conclusion. But how would one provide support for such a conclusion? There are two basic methods. First, we could support the conclusion with a single premise containing a non-universal generalization, such as many, many owls have been observed to prey on mice, so therefore all owls prey on mice. Secondly, we could enumerate a large number of specific statements as premises, such as owl number one preys on mice, owl number two preys on mice, owl number three preys on, preys on mice, and so on. So all owls prey on mice. The first method, which uses a non-universal generalization in the premises, is a handy shortcut. The second, which enumerates a series of specific statements, is more complete and is a method often used in the sciences. Regardless of which method we choose, they both lead to the same conclusion. All owls prey on mice. Finally, you can clearly see the inferential leap we talked about earlier. In both methods, the conclusion goes beyond the evidence supplied in the premises, so it's non-conclusive.